ladies and gentlemen. You know, over the years, we all heard about the forever chemicals being in the water because, you know, let's face it, when you got corruption running the place, they're going to literally corrupt everything they touch. And that's exactly what happens. And, you know, these same people that corrupt everything they touch got the nerve to believe they're good leaders. (laughs) <laughs> got the audacity to believe they're good leaders. So anyway, the toxic chemical is also found in the toilet paper all around the world. So if you are using toilet paper, which we all are, at least I hope so, then you are wiping your butt with forever chemicals. Thanks to leadership in America that just can't seem to stop messing up everything they touch. So let's get into this story. All toilet paper from across the globe checked for forever chemicals contained in the compounds and the waste flushed down toilets and sent to sewage treatment plants probably creates a significant source of water pollution, a new research found. Once the wastewater plants and the chemicals can be packed in the sewage sludge that is eventually spread on cropland as fertilizer and split into waterways, toilet paper should be considered as a potentially uh, tainted source, apparently. When it goes into the waste system, the toilet paper is also bringing forever chemicals into the water system because it's in the toilet paper as well. PFAS are a class of about 14,000 chemicals typically used to make thousands of consumer products resist water, stains, and heat. They are called forever chemicals because they do not naturally break down and they are linked to cancer, uh, fetal complications, liver disease, kidney disease, autoimmune disorders, and other serious health issues. Wow. So we're all wiping our butts with forever chemicals in the toilet paper. The study checked 21 major toilet paper brands in North America, Western Europe, Africa, Central America, and South America, but it did not name the brands. So they're saying it's in all of the toilet paper globally, but they didn't give the name brands. Mm-mm-mm. The peer review, a University of Florida report, did not consider the health implications of people wiping with contaminated toilet paper. PFAS can be um, absorbed, but no research on how it may enter the body during the wiping process. So they have no information on that, but we're all exposed to it, though. However, the exposure is definitely worth investigating, said David Andrews, senior scientist with the Environmental Working Group, a public health nonprofit that tracks PFAS pollution. Brands that use recycled paper had just as much PFAS and those that did not. So it says even if it's paper, toilet paper that has not been recycled, it's still got the forever chemicals in it. So recycled and unrecycled toilet paper both have this chemical in it. Mm -mm -mm. So it may be there. And so they're letting you know it can't be avoided. It doesn't matter what brand you buy, it can't be avoided. You are using forever chemicals on your body when you use the toilet paper. Wow. All right, so 
I'm not rushing to change my toilet paper, but I'm not saying that people should stop using or reduce the amount of toilet paper they use. All right, this is somebody by the name of Jake Thompson that's a lead author at the University of Florida. All right, the issue is that we're identifying another source of PFAS and it highlights that the chemicals are just everywhere. They are. I, I believe they're in all kinds of products that are being used. And I, to be honest with you, I think it's in a lot of the canned foods that's on the shelf too, because everything is packed in water. And I really think at this point, anything that's packed in water, chances are the chemical is in there you know, or water is used in the process of making certain products, then the chemicals would be there, plain and simple. There's no way to avoid it, which means ultimately we've all been exposed. It doesn't matter what part of the country you're in or what part of the globe you're in, we've all been exposed. I mean, what do you expect? from corruption because see they don't care who they expose to these chemicals it's all about making money they will sacrifice all of us for the sake of money that's how these folks think and that's how they will continue to think as long as they're in charge so mm. The issue is what we're identifying another source of PFAS, and it highlights that the chemicals are really everywhere. The PFAS levels detected are low enough to suggest that the chemicals are used as, you know, in the manufacturing process to prevent paper pulp from sticking to machinery, Thompson said. PFAS is often used in lubricants in the manufacturing process, and some of the chemicals are commonly left on consumer goods. In a statement to WSVN in Florida, a trade group representing the toilet paper industry said no PFAS is added to the toilet paper, but Thompson said evidence seemed to suggest otherwise, and that it may be true that PFAS are not intentionally added, but it's definitely there, okay? They, they have tested the toilet paper and they're finding it in all of the toilet paper. So he's saying companies might not be aware that it's used, but it might come from the manufacturing of the instruments they use, he said. So the average American uses 57 pounds of toilet paper a year and more than 19 billion pounds of toilet paper flushed every single year in the U.S. The study also checked wastewater in eight wastewater treatment plants and found it in all of the plants. However, PFAS is so common that it is difficult to pin the source with precision, which speaks to a larger issue around the chemicals spread use, Thompson said. But as a society, we have decided, you know, what to do about this Nobody has decided what to do about this problem, and they're not going to do nothing about it, y'all. I can tell you that right now. That's one thing about these folks. They believe in running things, but they don't believe in fixing things. They don't. This will never be fixed. It will never, ever be fixed. And you can best believe this would mean that all of the wastewater in America have the forever chemicals in it. Even in places they claim don't have it, they would have to have it, especially if they're using the toilet paper. How does it not have it? And the toilet paper got it and the toilet paper is constantly being flushed every single day. So it, it, it would ultimately be the entire country 
contaminated with this forever chemical. So y'all, please tell me what you think about this article. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.